here you have it. Here's your Rainland Society server trailer. Okay, let's go. First of all, this is spawn. If you do slash spawn, you get to slash spawn, obviously. Now here's create a free build and survival with PvP. You can go along here. So this is creative. You get to have a giant world all by yourself. It's not very renovated, but it's still fun to build things in. And just let you have a look around. I know it isn't very pretty, but you can still make it your own. Okay, let's go back to the spawn. Now oh, let's go to survival. Here's your survival world. Clear wide open area with spawn protection. There's nothing really griefed so far. Someone placed some furnaces and a crafting bench here. The rest is all to yourself. Okay, let's go back to spawn. Another thing is the spawn. It has some portals. It has a giant parkour adventure, which I'm going to show you in a moment. And there's a celebration going on. I'm going to build some of these eventish things. Like here, I've got this from Halloween. It's for a redacted haunted house. And it, I even made a special parkour for it. Okay. So you can go along. quite fun to do. I didn't quite complete it. I wanted to build a Halloween house here but I got was a bit busy so yeah I filled that some other time. I also built this viewing post so you can view outside spawn though well, no normal people are allowed to go outside there so it's restricted and you can't walk through anywhere. Another cool thing is, you can uh, um, get all your own plots at spawn if you want, because there's not really anybody that has built something. So you can ask me if you want to build something there, and I can give you permission to do that. Okay. Now to the parkour adventure. We have a tunnel that leads to it here, Rainland Society. There's a kind of checkpoint here with a minecart. So you can go up here. Go. And then. Go here. All the way up there. Now we're at the top. You can see down to spawn if you have your chunks up. Which I've got you can't join the server with more than about 8 or 11 chunks. I might still work with 16 but I'm not sure. And you can see to the bottom. You can just jump down if you want but we're not going to do that. And we're going to set our chunks back down to reduce the lag of the video. So there's a maze. It's not really maze, you just have to walk through. Sometimes monsters spawn, so beware. Then there's a small railway. That leads to this, the old spawn. Oh, I'm not gonna show you that. <laughs> and that's the end of a parkour adventure there. And that leads us on to our next build. V4 Arena. We have a special warp for it. Warp for arena. So this is the entrance. Down there is the tunnel to spawn. It's all bright and colorful. So go in. I'll just show you the arena first. It's quite small. It's got four towers for four teams. It's my server's only got six slots right now, so it's obviously going to be either two teams or four teams. 
and it's there's not going to be more than two if you're playing four ti four towers four teams it's got it's quite symmetrical it's got a few obstacles that you can hide behind and it's got a middle with some chests for each specific team it's got the spectator area so you can go in here and watch people fight this is for an I'm building this for egg wars except I call it ore wars because this will be ores arena you have to go in and destroy that from the top and I finished it here but I haven't quite finished it there so what else is in this arena you ask changing rooms fully functioning changing rooms with warps where you can stand in a corner once you've equipped yourself and then the person in the control room presses a button and everyone spawns to their bases or towers each single one is exactly the same nearly exactly the same rather and has the same equipment with the same style layout and has it for each different ores here's the control room it's a bit messy because it's got a lot of redstone so you go up here that's how you control it so this is for start all teams so just to show you I'm a lapis guy so I made it TP me to the lapis tower so this has got a spiral staircase with a quick water pool at the bottom so you can jump in from the top well nearly from the top but don't let that distract you it's a bit flawed but and there's two entrances so let's go in again was a bit stupid of me you can go down the ladder here it's your emergency exit if someone comes up and you can either go left or right and there's a pressure plate for quick exits this is the same in all for four towers and that should probably be cut off so we can jump down which it is here but not in the blue arena so I'll cut the effect now and I'll bring you to the next feature in a few minutes okay we're back I've repaired the small thing and you don't need to worry about it anymore sorry that was in the video but let's go on to the next thing plugins we've got 22 plugins as you may have thought already so I've got Citizens Group Manager World Edit Answer Simple Rename Bucket Compact uh, Compact Log X Clear Lag Multiverse Core Permissions X Log Block Anti TNT Mob Arena World Guard Essentials Essentials Spawn Multiverse Inventories Multiverse Sign Portals Project Hunger Games Craft Book Chest Shop and Essential Chat. Now you may know some of these plugins you may not but it adds a flair to the server so here's another mini game that I'm working on where, where you press this button and then oh, this button and then slimes come out and you have to fight them and then you when once you get slime balls from them you put them in here and if you put enough slime balls in instead of it on each sign you get an item a random one out of these dispensers. Yeah, let's get those away. I've got a day night control here. You don't have to worry about that. So if I connect this, it's only going to be day. But I've got the night one on, so. There. Now it's easier for you to see. Uh, as you have seen already, we've got loads of warps. Just a moment. Okay, back to that. We've got loads of warps. Which basically means that you can walk yourself to loads of places if you just type in a command. Or def. This is next to the arena. Bah, and you die. Uh, as you see, there's parkour advanced, which uh, takes you to the parkours. And each one has their checkpoints, so let's just show you. Parkour one sorry this is the start of the parkour parkour advanced one this is the start of this parkour then advanced two so all the way up here close your eyes 
nice effect, isn't it? I created that by myself, I don't know if there's anyone else. So that's at the top of the spawn. You could jump out, but don't do it. <laughs> You'd probably die anyway. And three, which is after you go through the maze and here. And I don't think there's a four. Yep, you have to do a rest all by yourself. Okay. That's shown you the event. The spawn. This is the exit of the parkour in case you fall down. Here's the mob arena. That's the entrance to the ores arena. That's the parkour adventure and that's the pumpkin house as you know. So if I do MA join colors. <laughs> I know it's a bit. It's more like the American saying. So I've got mob arena, so you can do mob arena here. If you don't know what mob arena is, is if on the right you can see it kills wave one and precipitator, that's my username. And here's a scoreboard. So you basically fight in a team or by yourself through several waves of mobs. So here I've done 12 hits. Oh. Okay, let's just take care of these mobs for now. It says what class I am, and it shows me how many kills I have. It's a 4 now. Yep, they are. And let myself die. Which is very hard. I don't think slash kill works here. So let's just wait. Yeah, this should not take a long time. I'll cut it for you so you don't have to wait. They're dead. Sorry for that. So we're at the bottom. Uh, we were at the bottom. And we died. So we're at the top of the arena. And we can drop off. Well, that's the start. So when you die, you get to spectate for other players as they fight on. And even when they're all dead, you can just do slash MA leave. Because uh, if they're all dead, uh, it doesn't it doesn't automatically m p TP you back to spawn. Just keeps you there. So that's how you leave it. And I'm not sure if there's anything else. I'll try and remember. Cut. Yes, there's actually one more thing. As you might have seen on some of the signs, it has German as well as English. That's because in Rainland society, we're based on... We make videos for Germans and for English people, or Scottish people. So, we basically speak English and German in the videos, so we made it in the server as well. So, even though you're probably not going to be German if you play on the server, you can still look at the signs and learn some German. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, crappy server trailer. I hope it will make you come join on the server. And I've just got to say one more thing. Remember to put your chunks down because if you've got them higher than 16 or 11 or whatever it is, you immediately leave the game. You have to switch your version to 1.7.2. I know it is stupid, but the server is better than some 1.8 servers. It's got loads of plugins, and the thing is that the plugins don't work in 1.8. And I've got a whitelist, so you have to tell me in the comments or contact me on Skype. My Skype username is Benjamin eighty eighty eighty. So, if you want to contact me, try and add me there and mention that you've seen my trailer. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, even though it was a bit bad. And this is Precipitator from Rainland Society out.